Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Mr. Romero with 21st Century Pasco. Today we are going to be working on an origami butterfly. Along this video, we'll be going um, in depth, step by step. So don't worry about um, the speed of the video. You could always pause it. For the vocabulary, our first word will be landmark, which means a point, crease, edge, or fold, which locates the area or move precisely. Um, this fold that I'm doing is a landmark because it's meeting uh, one point to another. The next vocab word is point, which means the intersection of creases or folds or a location. So this fold that I'm doing is an intersection of creases. The last vocab word is model. This means the finished product of your efforts. For our materials, you'll need one piece of paper. It can be print paper or notebook, a pair of scissors, and finally colored pencils or markers. Before we start, we're going to need to make some origami paper. If you have some already, that's great. But if you don't, um, this is how you make the origami paper. First things first, we're going to grab the right uh, side of the paper and we're going to bring it in all the way to the left, aligning it correctly, making sure that it's not crooked, making sure there's a good crease and alignment. Now go ahead and cut off this rectangle piece right here. Try to cut it as straight as possible. Now that we completed our origami paper, we're gonna go ahead and start with step two. We're gonna fold the bottom half to the top half, making sure the edges meet, then unfold it. As you're folding it, make sure you get a good crease on that um, half. Let's move on to step three. We are going to fold the top and bottom edges to meet them at the center. So as we're folding, make sure you get that good crease in each fold. Moving on to step four, we are going to fold in all four corners so their edges meet at the center. At each corner, make sure you fold it in um, to a perfect half, uh, well, right triangle. Make sure that you crease that good. Make sure it, it uh, stays flat. Double check all four corners, make sure they look good. Now, moving on to step five. What we're gonna do is fold down the top half. Make sure you get a good crease on that. This next step is a little tricky. Step six, fold the center of the bottom half to the top half. Crease about one inch of the center with your finger. Do not crease all the way. What you're going to do is fold up the bottom half and then crease it in the middle with your fingernail. Get a good crease on there, but don't crease it all the way where it's going to stay flat. Just crease it enough in the middle where it stays and where you see your uh, fingernail marked on there. Step seven, turn the paper over. Step eight, place a finger on top of the center of the paper and with your other hand, wrap the paper snugly around your finger, just like that. Make sure you leave space for your finger and then carefully take your finger out, leaving that mark there, that finger, finger space. Moving on to step nine, use a fingernail and poke in the center of the bottom of the loop. The same time that you're doing this, 
Uh, make sure you hold on uh, to the top of the butterfly to maintain the shape. Slowly bend it down and both ways. Make sure that the butterfly keeps its shape. Kind of mess with it. Get that good crease where you bend it. Play it safe, you know, you don't want to rush things. Origami is about taking your time, learning about patience. It is about skill, so take your time and it'll come out just right. All right, sweet. Now we're on to our final step, step 10. With your forefinger and thumb, grab both ends of the loopholes and pinch them together. Adjust the wings accordingly. If they're not flapping the way you want it to, make it your own. Fix around the edges, the folds where your fingers go. Make sure that it's flapping the right way. And customize your butterfly, cut it, color it the way you want. You know, it's yours. Make it your own. I hope everybody had fun with this video. I hope I was able to keep you guys busy, keep you learning, keep you engaged. And as always, I hope everybody stays safe out there. We at 21st Century miss every single one of you, and I hope to see you guys soon. Stay safe.